In the stadium controversy, Chargers spokesman Mark Fabiani is not the only one critical of the mayor's advisory committee. Two council members have also raised concerns. David Alvarez and Todd Gloria decided to restate their criticism of just a few weeks ago. Their remarks comes at a time when both the mayor and Fabiani have had a series of hostile exchanges. We get more right now from KUSI's Steve Bosch. Steve? Ellen, the mayor is up for re-election in 2016 when Todd Gloria is termed out of office. Now, Gloria was interim mayor for several months after Bob Filner's resignation. He wants that job full-time. If the Chargers exercise their option to leave early in 2016 and head to Los Angeles, which is a real possibility, it could weaken the mayor's re-election campaign. Gloria is stepping up criticism of how the mayor has handled the stadium issue. This war of words between the two camps that presumably should be brokering some sort of partnership to actually construct a new stadium uh, doesn't benefit anyone. Uh, it makes the city look pretty bad. Anytime there's a controversy involving an elected official, it opens the door for adversaries to take advantage of the situation. Gloria's future plans are no secret. His differences with the mayor, I think, are genuine differences. Uh, clearly, when he was interim mayor, everybody agrees he did a great job, and he has different policies. I mean, that's, that's what elections are all about. Gloria and council member David Alvarez share many of the concerns Mr. Fabiani has raised, and rather forcibly. The goal is to keep the Chargers. I'm concerned that the path that we're on uh, is not going to do that. I think the skepticism has been voiced by the Chargers in recent days, uh, and we're looking for uh, answers, but none are in sight yet. Despite the attacks on the mayor's handling of this, Gloria remains coy about his future. I've made no decisions about running for uh, whatever office in 2016. As for the mayor, the attacks on him and his advisory group come with a job. On Good Morning San Diego, Mayor Faulkner admitted it's been a difficult week, but his confidence will not be shaken. I think a lot of people have been scratching their heads about some of the tone and the divisiveness, because that's not going to be helpful. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, look, guys, let's keep our eye focused on success. This stadium issue is now in its 14th year. But something was always missing. There's never been a plan. There's never been, here's what we're going to do. Here's how we're going to pay for it. And so what I've said, let's, let's be solution-oriented here. Um, the distractions are not helpful to get things done. The mayor separates Mr. Fabiani's rhetoric from Chargers owner, Dean Spanos. I've met with him once before. Mm -hmm. um, I'm optimistic that you know, it's in everyone's best interest. It's in San Diego's best interest for us to solve this. Um, now, there's a lot of people saying, oh, the Chargers are already moving to L.A. No, I'm not one of those. Now, the mayor had written a letter to Mr. Spano suggesting he holster his hired gun, Mr. Fabiani. This morning, the mayor told me he hasn't yet received a response. Boy, no. this sure has not gotten off to a, a good start. No, it has not. When does the advisory committee meet again? We just got word late this afternoon when they're going to meet for the first time, a public forum. That's going to be at Qualcomm Stadium. And let's see here, um, it's going to be in Club Lounge S, as in Sam. That'll be Monday, March 2nd from 6 to 9 p.m. And uh, this Club Lounge S, most accessible, easily accessible, through Gate A at the stadium. And there will be uh, a room for spillover, and they're hoping also to uh, streamline this on the Internet. So yeah. anyone can yeah. attend? Anyone would, can I, attend, I, encouraged to attend. I would imagine there will be some spillover, too, and a lot of interesting comments, just, not so. just from Chargers fans, but the public in general. Yeah, yeah. I'm All sure right. a lot of people will be yeah. there. All right. Thank you, Steve. Okay.